chicken. Now if you want to boil your chicken and do all that and pull it apart for your chicken spaghetti, you can do that. But for those coming in from work, this is a fast, easy, quick way for you to get it done. I got my water already boiling for my spaghetti noodles. I put some salt in the water, a little oil. I got my, my broth and water boiling for my green beans. I put my turkey necks in there. But, okay, so we got that going. I'm going to put this in here, put butter in there. I'm going to put a stick of butter. So I'm gonna start that because my green beans, you know, I don't like them to have a lot of all that crunch in them. So we're just gonna put these in here. We add a little oil to it, a little bit of oil to this water. This is extra virgin oil. We're gonna put some garlic in there. Y'all my favorite season. Season salt, granulated garlic, and some black pepper. For chicken spaghetti, y'all, you use celery, onions. I don't want no big, big chocks. Big chunks, that's a big chunk. Big chunks of celery, so I'm gonna chop that down, get them all, they halfway there, but I want them, it still has a few chunks. And you can actually buy this chopped up in the store. Chopped onions, chopped celery, chopped, chopped bell pepper. They making it easier for y'all. They ain't wasn't doing all this when I was growing up, but they making it easy, easy on us now. So I'm gonna put a little oil in this skillet. First, I'm gonna put the celery in here. Look at that. We're using probably about a half a cup of, half a cup of celery, chopped celery. You can use a little bit less if you want, because celery can be a little strong. So if you don't want to use as much, you don't have to, but it really does add flavor to your chicken spaghetti. All right, we're putting that in there. Got that sauteing down. Got a little oil in that. Covering up these green beans so they can cook down faster. So we got the oven preheated for our garlic bread, water boiling for the noodles. I'm gonna put this chicken in here. Time to chop that down. All right, we moving. Put some seasoning on that. You know, you season to taste. Season to taste, season salt, whichever brand you wanna use. Granulated garlic, those are my favorites that I use. Those are my basic seasonings and black pepper that I use in the majority of my meals. Because you can't go wrong. If you don't want to use a lot of salt, use some garlic. You can use fresh garlic too, but I use it. I got on my Tamil Man collection gear today. Hey, y'all check it out. Go check me out, Tamil Man. Got this. Got me burning. Got me burning. Woo! Got me sweating. Cause it's looking good already. We're breaking that down. We want that to cook down a little bit more. Quite a bit more, actually. Saute everything down in there. That's looking good right there. I'm gonna add these noodles in. And I just, this how I, I jar mine up. And I use the thin noodles. So what I do is I take them like that and I break them in half. Go one way, one direction, one direction opposite of each other so they won't stick. So that's a little tip for you. For us, for my new, my new cooks. Cause I'm trying to get y'all in the kitchen. Y'all, there ain't bad in the kitchen. Don't be scared. But you can't be in a hurry when you get in the kitchen now. Don't, don't get in here and get to trying to go real fast. You know, take your time, it could be fun. If you're cooking with your spouse or your friend, y'all just tell each other what y'all doing so y'all won't be both putting salt in the same dish. Who's never done that? Who? Us. We have. <laughs> and you don't want to do too much of that. I'm gonna add a little bit more onion to this, y'all. Just a little bit. Yeah, so you cook that down. A lot of people don't like onions, but if you dice them down small, they won't even know they in there. They won't know. That's the, that's the rest of my seasoned salt that I put in there. Because when you use, I use can, you can use whatever can, cream of celery, cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, using all the creams. Now some people make their chicken spaghetti with a heavy cream, which you can do that and, and kind of make your sauce. You can do that as well, but we're not doing that. We're doing fast. That's the thing about Mama Man's Kitchen. We're trying to make it quick for y'all. Move these noodles around, make sure they're not sticking. Look at that. Yeah, 
Be careful though, because you won't be careful with this hot water, because hot water don't flake. You will get burned. This is really a real, real quick meal. The longest thing it's gonna take, because I use fresh green beans, they take a minute. I put a whole stick of butter, I got turkey necks in there. But turkey necks is actually to add flavor. You can use them that's not smoked. I like them smoked because it's like an extra little kick. When I say smoked, it actually looks like this, where it's been smoked on the, on the grill. So we cooking all this down. Then we're gonna add our soups. We got our noodles going. Woo! Boy, that's hot right there. And actually, it's really good as a leftover meal. So don't, don't sleep on it. It's a good meal for you to take to, to work for lunch. Get your garlic toast. Chicken spaghetti is one of our, one of the favorites around here. Portia girls are always mad on her because she cook it a lot. All the time. And they be like, she's so like, mom, what you cooking today? Don't tell me. Chicken, Chicken spaghetti. spaghetti. So, <laughs> but no, it's one, cause it's so easy. It's so easy, so quick. So I can understand why she would want to do it quite a bit because it's so easy and fast to do. I want to taste this to see what I need now. You know, a good cook, you want to taste your food. You want to taste it to make sure everything is everything. I'm gonna add a little water to that. Just a little bit. I have some water on standby. So when I add my soups in here, this will help break that down. Cause this, that gives it all some, give it some juice. So there we go. We got that in there. So really the chicken, the pre-cooked chicken is already done, y'all. So that's what makes it a lot easier. So we got a can of cream of chicken. We'll add all that in there. You want all your goodness. Then you want a can of cream, cream of celery. He's like, man, you just put celery in it. I did. But it's just to give it a little bit more flavor. And then we have cream of mushroom. Now this bowl is full because it's probably two small cans, but we I'd rather have more in case if I have to add to it. Because I like my spaghetti to have like a little juice to it. I don't like it to be dry. Look, this cooking down. We almost finished, y'all. That's the thing about this meal. Baby, you can put this. If you buy all your stuff like the day before, and when you get home and it's all basically thawed out, this is a 20 minute meal. Now the only thing, you can do broccoli, you can do a salad, you could do any, like sometimes I do corn on a cob and a salad. I like to have a green vegetable. That's just me, I'm not a big, big pasta eater, but today, you know, I'm, I'm throwing down on this pasta. We making, we getting down with this one. Look at that. Woo! Them noodles, they almost ready. Noodles don't take long to cook. And when you preheat your water, y'all, it goes so fast. It's like, but I do like mine's tender now. Some people like it with a little uh, to it, like a little toughness to it, but I don't. So this, I'm gonna add a little cheese inside of my filling. Turn this fire down. And then I'm gonna put some, so you put a little cheese inside and you put a little cheese on top because really you make it like a casserole. That's what makes it look so pretty. That's why I got that deep bowl over there. We're gonna slide that bad girl in that oven. Woo! Lord have mercy, I'm gonna get a pan so. This makes it easier. But I remember y'all, y'all wanna get some, get some things for your kitchen. You get these at a restaurant shop, they are not that expensive, but it's good to have. Like you do your garlic bread, they make them small, like I got a smaller one here just for the garlic bread or you can do biscuits in it. But I want to put my pan on this sheet pan so it'll be easier to take out of the oven. So that's why I did that. So, but you want to get you some nice pieces for your kitchen. You ain't got to spend a whole, whole lot of money, but you want something real nice that you can work with. You want your utensils. Remember, it's good to have good knives. So I'm looking at these green beans, making sure that they, I want them to get a little soft on them. I don't want to be, I don't like crunchy green beans. I don't like that. You know, sometimes you go to the, some restaurants and they be, they be crunchy. They don't be soft enough, so. I put, I got some high heat on that, got my turkey necks in there. And I got, let me taste this. See, I have like little 
taste of spoons in my in the kitchen. Mmm, this is all I'm gonna. Mm, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna add this other cream of mushroom. Cream of mushroom, you may not even like mushrooms, but when you mix them, you don't even really taste them. You, you don't taste the texture of them. Cause they really cut up really small in it. And you won't even be, don't be scared. Don't be scared. So, but that's what we got. Remember, check out TamilaMan.com and go check out Tamil Man collection too. I got my, my gear on today. Hey y'all, I got shapewear. Y'all check it out. I'll be right back. Ladies, this is Tamla Man. The fight for the perfect shapewear is over. The Tamla Man collection shapewear is a total knockout. With its built-in waistline, holding pound for pound, inch for inch, when life hits you below the belt. Y'all know what I'm talking about. With its breathable fabric that gives you comfort, flexibility, and firmness, the Tamla Man Collection Shapewear is for the everyday woman who wants to wear shapewear but wants to be comfortable. Get your shapewear today at tamlaman.com. All right, we stirring everything down. This is warming up. My noodles are almost ready. You know, it don't take noodles long. Green beans, since we put them at a high heat, we got that crunch off of them, so I, I'm gonna actually cut those off. I'm gonna put my garlic toast in the oven, okay? All right, so when it comes to your green beans, you wanna do a good 20 minute probably cook if you want them kinda soft. If you like to, for them to have a little more firmness, less time, is, you know, you kinda have to just get in there and kinda just mess with them to see where they are, but see, like me, See, this done broke down where, like I like it. So that was probably about 15, 20 minutes at a high heat. But I start boiling my turkey next first and the butter so it becomes kind of how have flavor in the water. Also, another good trick when you're cooking, guys, is chicken broth. Chicken broth or beef broth, depending on what you're cooking with or cooking or making. But chicken broth is my go-to. I added it in the green beans for today, but I added in my mashed potatoes, you can add it in like even your mac and cheese if you want to, just to add just a little bit of flavor. Just depends on what you're making. So I'm gonna have to drain my noodles. I gotta step off the camera, drain this, and I'll be here. I'll be right back. Y'all ready? I'm back. See them noodles? <laughs> and I'm gonna take my sauce, pour it in there. Stir this up. Got that in there like that. I like to make it look pretty. Make it look nice. Okay, so we, now we're gonna put the cheese on top of this. Woo! Don't that look pretty? Mmm. -hmm. All right, so we're gonna put this in the oven. Now we don't want our bread to be real hard, so we got a nice little brown on that. But this right here, whoop! Just put a little cheese right there. I got gas just popped up. Yeah. Look at that. See, I don't, I don't normally garnish like that, but I think I might start. You might have to do that? Yeah, I might start shooting. Look at that. Ain't she beautiful? Ain't she beautiful? Now, we're going to taste this now. I got the bread pretty soft, but I like mine with a little crunch, but it just. No, this looks perfect, because if it's too hard, it's almost like. You can't. Rock. Yeah, you can't really. I this like is your fork. I don't know your mouth. No, this, this, is, this is brand new. What you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> my mouth. I'm the 
with your mouth. Put it in the worm, put it on with your dad. That is not me. I want it. Okay, here, look, 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 take the plate. No, but you know what? You While well, I'm fixing my plate, thank y'all for hanging out with me in Mama Man's kitchen. Portia, join me in Mama Man's kitchen. You never know who's gonna stop by. All right, but you know what, Portia? Say it. Look good. Look good. It smell smell good. good. Tastes even better. Whoa! Come on, now. that's right, that's right. You never know who's gonna hang out in Mama Man's kitchen. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. Remember, love more and judge less. I love y'all. God bless y'all. Boy, this smells so good. I'm gonna garnish mine. Ta-da! Bye!